right, Bailey, we're down in the basement here. Um, decent ceiling height, um, not the, the tallest I've seen, but certainly not the lowest. Um, you've got three egress windows here, uh, which is nice. These two that are darker are covered. Uh, from a safety perspective, that's good. From a light perspective, you could use something a little more bright to open those up. Um, here's a, another egress window here for the uh, basement bedroom. Again, you know, just dated in, in its simple paint and this light fixture, but uh, some people just get turned off by this, so it's just not appealing to the masses right now. Big closet here. Um, basement bathroom. Again, updated hardware, hard, hard uh, wear on the doors, but, you know, 90s brass shower surround, simple kind of tile, um, and then again, older sink. I think most people are just feeling like it's a little too much to, to bite off and, and do. In the uh, mechanical room here, I took a look at the furnace. So that is a 10-year-old furnace, which is pretty good. It is half about halfway through its expected life expectancy. Um, they typically last about 20 years. It does have a whole house humidifier, which is great in our dry winters. And then um, the water heater was 2014. Uh, so six years old, it's about a 10 to maybe 15 year life expectancy on water heaters. Um, so that is a, nearing its end. Uh, being six years into it's 10, or, or if you're lucky, maybe 15. It does have a, a wiring system and a sub panel here down here in the basement, um, which is great. That's really nice to have a sub panel. So it means you can uh, safely turn your fuses back on without having to go outside, especially during our winters. We're going to go outside here in just a second.